Mexico should be all right without Raul Jimenez because the plan B is Rogelio Funes Mori, and we all know what Tata Martino thinks of Rogelio Funes Mori. We, he already proved himself for the national team during the summer. I know he didn't score as many goals as we would have expected, but he looked okay. So plan B should be enough for Tata Martino for this free, uh, first three games of the qualifiers. The thing Mark, here, you agree. The thing here, Seb, it's not if he will be missed because you have enough talent to get you over the hump versus mm. a, a Jamaica team that's going to come in limping to Estadio Azteca. And yeah, maybe not the best versions of Panama and Costa Rica, but they are playing at home. The thing is here, if you're Tata Martino, this is a missed, missed opportunity of having Raul Jimenez, a player who's shown you that he's physically capable now of the expectations of the Premier League to get himself back in a place where he's comfortable and maybe can be confident. When you're a striker, confidence is key. What better way to gain confidence if you're already playing at the Premier League level than these tune-up matches, like boxing, a tune-up fighter, a tune-up match. You get Raul Jimenez playing against lesser opposition because that's what CONCACAF will be compared to the Premier League. Maybe a goal or two, his confidence comes up. This was a great opportunity of Tata Martino seeing exactly for himself firsthand where Raul Jimenez was at physically and mentally, and now he won't have that. Mm. To me, this comes to how much faith you have in Rogelio Funes Mori. And I got to say, after the Gold Cup, on a scale yeah. of 1 to 10, I'm probably somewhere between a 5 and a 6. I look at those knockout round games. He played 280 minutes, Rogelio Funes Mori, against CONCACAF competition, right? Basically the same type of level he's going to be going against here. Honduras, Canada, U.S., he scored one goal in 280 minutes. I'm sorry if I'm not 100% sold on Rogelio Funes Mori. And beyond that, I would say this. Guys, Wolves are not starting Raul Jimenez as a charity case. They're starting him because he's the best option for a Premier League team. Mexico is not deep enough now for, for a guy who's the best option for any Premier yep. League team to be, to be well just said. thrown away and discarded and say they're not going to miss him, right? It, well, I, I agree with that. You're not wrong. But at the same time, I'll say this. His performance during the Gold Cup, and I know from a number nine, the thing you come to expect is goals, right? That's how we're going to evaluate a player playing that position, the number nine position. But remember what Tata Martino expects from a player like Raul Jimenez and a player like Rogelio Funes Mori. He expects those players to be more involved in the creation of offensive play and also trying to finish. So the fact that Rogelio Funes Mori was a good fit, it gives me the confidence to believe that with him, it should be enough to get at least seven out of those nine points in play, which obviously playing CONCACAF qualifiers, we all know that, it's, it's crucial how, how you start. Now, if Rogelio Funes Mori is not good enough, then you have Henry Martin who played well with the Olympic team and who has been playing well with Club America and who can also be part of this build-up, creating opportunities for the team. So, again, I understand what you said, what Herc said about trying to get Raul Jimenez more involved and getting the confidence that he's been missing for almost a year. But it's World Cup qualifiers. You need players. You need players that are grinders. And that's going to be Henry Martin and Rogelio Funes Mori. The team should be okay without uh, Raul Jimenez. Henry Martin's not actually a goal scorer at the senior level. And Raul Jimenez, like, newsflash, the most productive year and a half for Raul Jimenez in his career was this last year and a half before he got injured when he was scoring goals with the Mexican national team and with Wolverhampton. Before that, he was exactly the same type of player that we're talking about, Henry Martin and Funes Mori. He was a very good nine to help others out, but not necessarily productive. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.